Taking maxillary and mandibular periapical radiographs are important to capture the entire length of a tooth, including the crown, root, and bone. A good periapical radiograph will show the full length of the tooth as well as 2 millimeters of periapical bone surrounding the apex. We will break down three common situations in which a PA radiograph will fail to capture the root apex, although there are other possible scenarios. Without information of the apex, the clinician reviewing the radiograph will be unable to make a wholesome diagnosis. In our first example, the student is attempting to capture a PA of the mandibular incisors. The student places the anterior PA setup using the paralleling technique, where the sensor is parallel to the long axis of the tooth. After moving the aiming ring toward the patient's face, the student positions the tube head and position indicating device parallel to the beam alignment device to expose the image. When reviewing the captured image, all four mandibular incisor crowns and roots are visible, but no apices are seen. It is determined that the x-ray beam is directed too superiorly and the tube head was placed too high, missing the apices. In order to correct this, lower both the tube head and the PID down slightly to the center of the aiming ring and make it parallel with the attachment bar. When doing this, the newly exposed image will shift teeth up onto the image and capture the apices. In our second example, the student is attempting to capture a PA of the maxillary central incisors. The student places the anterior PA setup using the paralleling technique. This patient, however, closes too hard on the biting block. This opens up the angulation between the sensor and bite block greater than 90 degrees, flattening it against the hard palate. The resulting image reveals the maxillary central incisors as elongated, with missing root apices. In order to correct this, remove the instrument, reposition the sensor behind the maxillary central incisors, and ask the patient to gently close. Finally, in our third example, the student is attempting to capture a PA of the right maxillary canine. The student, however, has performed all of the proper intraoral techniques indicated for this radiography. When reviewing the captured image, it is determined that the tooth is simply so long that an image will not include the root apex. In order to correct this, the student needs to foreshorten the image of the tooth onto the sensor. To do this, we will aim the x-ray beam at an exaggerated angle. First, lift the x-ray tube head up. Next, aim the PID down at the sensor at a steeper angle over the top of the apex. Upon review, the image shows the entire length of the tooth, including the apex and surrounding bone.